Welcome back to another episode of Bag Surgery. Today we've got a treat. Yes, that's right. Cornhole Scenario is back on the chopping block. And boy, do we got some things to talk about. Because it's not just this bag. It's going to be this one too. Which is falling apart. A little bit of red. It's going to be interesting. Originally, I wanted to pit this bag up against this bag. And against this bag and against this bag because they are all the same materials same sides almost all the same sides and we'll, we'll get to that of course because this is there are some discrepancies in these bags some discrepancies folks but for now let's just go over the basics here it's the cornhole scenario mongoose even though it doesn't say mongoose I know it's a mongoose because this one says mongoose. Otherwise known as the Cat 3. It's got the same cornhole scenario type of clip art design. Nice circles. I like the circles. And I like the gradient a lot. This is the Throwdown 2022 certified tournament bag. Sent to us by a nameless donor. Yes, that's right. And she will remain nameless. Thanks for sending us, sending us these, Miss B. Yeah, United we throw, Cat 3. It doesn't have the PIR thing. Does this one? No, no PIR on this, whatever that means. It's 21 to 22, used in the throwdown. And I think there's a lot of rumors going that local bags is making these bags now. And I think they might be right. And I think these came from local. Because right away, I mean, it's going to be hard to see. You can kind of see it already. I can see it in the camera. Can you see it? Do you have the eyes to see it? We're going to get close up. Maybe you can see it now. You see what I'm talking about? Do you see it yet? Do you see that this fabric is the backside? And this fabric is the front side of the same fabric. This this is the reverse side with the fabric backing. It's matted. And this is the regular side where it's shiny and smooth. Same way that this bag is shiny and smooth. But not here. It's matted down. Yikes. Yeah, that's right. It's not just these two. This one is a mat and this one is the regular side two out of four bags two out of four bags are not correct I don't know what side is supposed to be the right side this bag has the, the fabric backwards inside out we'll call this the back side back side front side interesting oh did I mention look at that not falling apart but damn I mean it's you could trim that that's noticeable I understand one gets through but trim that this was done on an automatic machine there's no more hand stitching now that it's done with local we're gonna of course confirm that when we get inside but I want to take apart the backside first of course after we weigh them and measure but I want to take apart this I think this is supposed to be the correct side we're going to take apart the one with the jacked up closing stitch. Just taking an initial close up look. Sublimation looks really good. Got the nice drop shadow. A couple drop shadows here. Good lines. That's very small and you can still read it. Nice. 805. Must be a zip code because that's a surfboard. Front side, this is the back side of Rave. And they put, you see those little triangles? That's part of the design. It's like an overlay they do because it's not here. But it is here. And all over the purple um, dinosaur. I guess they named it the Mongoose because it's like a snake killer. And this is the same fabrics as a Viper. So it's so a way to go there. A 
let's see how they do on weight. And I'll just mention that they feel like a cat bag. They feel really good. They feel like thin but firm. And let's see, pound, pound, pound. Oops. And a pound. So will we get four pounds? Gosh, I hope so. It's 3.01. Four pounds even. Oh, hey, there it goes. Four pounds. And someone asked, oh, it's changing to do it in different units so it's 1816 grams total and the bag itself weighs 453 grams and maybe you saw it in the live stream but we got calipers no more ruler measurements We're using calipers at a width of these are not broken in by the way brand new 5.7325. So brand new. They are below spec. It's supposed to be 5.75. Right, I'll go 5.75. You can see. All right, it's gonna be hard to get right on it. But jeez. Well, anyway, there's 5.748. You can see the little gap there on the right. I'm barely touching. So. Out of the box, not within spec. $200 bags. Oh, God, way out of spec. Let's do it right here where it's a little fatter. And touching, 5.75, barely at the fattest, 5.748. Remember, these are new, so they're only going to get thinner. And I got to measure thickness off camera. All right, thickness was 4.34. So they're averaging over, over the minimum amount. That's good. They got one thing right. Okay, right, let's get inside this bag. Well, there we go. Cornhole scenario, single pellet fill, $200 fill, $200 RZ3 fill. While we're on the topic, that closing stitch was uh, a double stitch, but I'll tell you what, it was easy to take apart, had no problems. Came apart pretty good. Okay. No inside designs because now it's made by local. It's got a computerized stitch. Something you'll notice on this bag versus the Cat 2 bag we did. It's only one line. It's one stitch. Single stitch. We're back to single stitching. Okay, this is my fault, by the way. I did that. I went a little too far. Like, it's stitched up to, like, here. But I started cutting into it when I was opening the bag. So that's my fault. Hey, wait a minute. It's a mix fill. It's the same mixture I do. And I think the same mixture that these guys do. Okay, so it did change a little. So I think we will. Originally, I was not going to get close up because I thought it was a single pellet fill because none of these little LDPE pellets were showing up on top. But we will do a close up right now. Can you hear that? Right now. Okay, and we're in. RZ3 pellets. Where's my. There it is. Mixed with the LDPE. That is actually the same, the same mixture we do. I don't know if it's the same proportions. This is a little thinner, it felt like, so it's probably not the same proportions. And just to show that ours is pretty much the same, we'll throw some of our pellets in there. Okay, so now you see our LDPEs, which are, I guess, are a little bit bigger, a little bit flatter. They're slicker for sure. We saw our fill on the Illust video that had the Viper B and the Surefire. You tell me if these are about the same or not. Taking a look up close here of the stitching and fabric. Again, this is the actual show side of the fabric. They had it flipped backwards or forwards or who knows. Yeah, this is my fault. 
stitching ran all the way to here and the closing stitch ran all the way to there so you can see the difference so they got a real good overlap of the opening stitch which actually I cut on accident just here and all the way to here it's a good like four stitch overlap so that's nice stitching comes around it is a little wonky but that can happen they might be using pre-round bobbins because I'm seeing like here it's loose lower tension then tight lower tension kind of in between and shifting that is indicative of pre-wound bobbin I've been having good luck with winding my own bobbins that way we don't have that issue so there's another one right there I'm being very meticulous here we are that's what I was worried about this little bump right here but I think it's just a bobbin thread poking through let's flip it over and see yeah sounds about right here's the back side this is the actual side of rave that most use it's a little more textured I think it's I've did a little test and I, this is faster but all the Viper clones have this on the inside and the smooth side on the outside before we measure we're gonna take a look at this sublimation close up again this is the back side Although it looks like the front side when you're close up because you can see the same kind of weave barely poking through Here's that closing stitch. See, it's double stitched. And done on an automatic machine. So we're poking through the same holes. You can just tell when it's an automatic machine. You can just tell. And on the wide side, we got 6.34. Uh, the closing stitch is 2.8 and I think the opening on the bag itself was about here so about 2 2.1 pretty rounded corners these corners look I want to say they look different than the cat twos we did this is this feels like it's a lot rounder than the cat twos we did it might be they sublimate the fabric at cornhole scenario ship it to local local sews fills closes and drop ships or ships it back to I don't know I don't know none of that makes sense why would you do all that just get you're charging two hundred dollars for a bag four bags get your own automated sewing machine how hard is that Christ take out a loan or something It'll pay for itself. Don't tell me you can't afford it. Two hundred dollars a set. You're always sold out. All right, we took apart one more bag just because it's a cat, and you kind of have to do that because who knows what's going on with the quality control these days. Even though it's outside of their hands now, I don't know what they do anymore. What, what are they doing? Displaying designs in the name. The locals doing all the work. Single stitch. No more double stitch regular cut well I got these cats going we're gonna look at this one a little closer to it to be real quick though because I want to look at this red that's right here I'm wondering if there's something on the back side want to know who might have made this uh, just by looking at the closing stitch it was it looks like a single stitch it's kind of hard to see I think it's a single my eyes aren't that great we'll see when we take it apart but this one was sent to me because it is falling apart it's the closing stitch is coming out so yeah, let's take it apart all right the fill is 
the same I think I saw. Yeah, there's one. All right, here we go. Cat three, the broken one out the bag. Cat three opened up, and we have a double stitch. So, single stitch, double stitch, two different kinds of size of fabric, two different kinds of stitching. You just don't never know what you're going to get. That's what life is like. A two hundred dollar set of cornhole bags. You just don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to get. That's a horrible impression. I like what they did, though. Of course, this had to be local. They did kind of what we do. is a close double stitch. It actually looks a lot like ours. Um, down and back again. Of course, we do our down and back on the outside. But, uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Cutting it close. Yeah, nice. Same fill. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. We're not going to zoom in. It's the same fill, same ratio, same everything. Just different stitching. I know it's not fair because this one's been used a little bit, but I want to see what we got here. I think it's the same. 6.2495. I can't remember what the other one was, so you comment below if it's the same. Well, we looked at the same bag, but really two different bags. This one a single stitch, this one a double stitch. This one, the show side of the fabric. This one, the inside of the fabric. Same year, same everything else. Same automated closing stitch from, I guess local makes the whole bag now. But then what, Cornhole Solution Scenario? Cornhole Scenario just sits back and like doodles on craft paper. Cause you're paying two. Here, let me get this out of the way too. You paid $200 and then they add shipping. They add it on because the $200 isn't enough to cover a $12 shipping charge, which is still high. Shipping isn't $12 for four bags if you know what you're doing. Good Lord. And the, what is the shipping? They wrap it in craft paper and a bow. You paid 12 bucks for that, but hey, you paid $200 for four bags that are not the same. So, yeah. I got craft paper. I got butcher paper. I got toilet paper. I'll wrap it and send it to you. I'm just playing. I wouldn't do that. Or would I? Or would I? Uh, I like this side of the fabric. I'm starting to warm up to this side of the fabric a lot more. It just it feels nice and smooth and sublimates well. So we got our own bag coming out. Hit pause. So you know I was saying that the fire heat in the uh, brothers the brotherhood cornholes mach 3 and the ultra viper they're all the same fabrics well you know what i'm going to jump on that bandwagon too bandwagon and we're going to be releasing this october the ranger the ranger from b3cornhole.com uh same fabrics but not the same fabrics these are different fabrics that are basically the same and uh, they feel good it's gonna have the b3 shape the b3 fill I will probably make these just a little bit fuller because of these test bags I'm not sure if I like the thickness just yet but these are the four colors we're gonna do and if you want I'll charge 700 bucks wrap it in um, silly string and ship it off to you or I'll charge our normal price. Actually, it's going to be a lot lower for the introduction. We'll have an introduction colors, special edition colors, and they'll be cheaper, and you can get more bags for less on introduction. In October, late October, whenever I get my fabric in.